In the 21st century, education is changing. Learners must hone their skills in digital age literacies, inventive thinking, and effective communication to be able to produce high quality products. As students, we have to apply thinking skills critically and creatively to solve problems and make reasoned ethical decisions about information. It is necessary for us to show independence in learning, inquiring and researching to broaden our knowledge of the world, giving thoughtful, refle reflective consideration to what we learn and understand through inquiry is essential. As novice researchers, we often ask, where do I begin to look for reliable and useful information? And once I find it, how do I evaluate it to make sure I have what I need for my research? Well, welcome to the World Wide Web, a world filled with possibilities and, and pitfalls where we must learn to navigate and evaluate what we discover. We are obligated to become Internet detectives. In our quest for information, we are bombarded with thousands of websites. Some are excellent, but others may be biased or satirical, while still others may mislead or entice. As we begin our search for reliable information, let's investigate how to evaluate sources on the World Wide Web. When we find possible sites, we must first look at the URL, or Uniform Resource Locator. Is the site a personal page? Personal pages aren't necessarily bad, but we should try to investigate the author. Personal pages do not have publishers or domain owners who vouch for the validity of the information on the page. Look for a personal name followed by a tilde, a percent sign, or the words users, members, or people. Look for an ISP or internet service provider like AOL.com or GeoCities.com. What type of domain does the site come from? Is it .edu, educational, .gov or .mil, government or military, .com or .net, commercial, or .org, nonprofit organizations? Look for country codes like .us, United States, or .uk, United Kingdom. Next, scan the page for links to about us, philosophy, background, or biography. Look for the date indicating when the page was last updated. This information is usually found at the bottom of the page. Look for dates on all the pages of the site. Search for the author's name or the name of the organization, institution, or agency responsible for the information on the page. An email address is not sufficient identification. Is the information up to date? Compare sites to make sure that facts and statistics are accurate. Remember, anyone can post anything on the web. The process is inexpensive and can be done in minutes. Our task as researchers and inquirers is to distinguish between the reliable and the questionable. Some websites are posted by hobbyists, self-proclaimed experts, or enthusiasts. Find out what qualifications the author of the site possesses. Look for links, additional resources, or related links. Do they work? Do they lead you to a variety of viewpoints concerning your topic? Look for the credibility of the information. Is it scholarly? Is it documented? Does the author provide a bibliography or source list? Find out what others say about the site. Go to Google or Yahoo, find the search box, and type link colon, then paste the URL. This will bring up other sites that are linked to the site in question. Look at the variety of sites. Are they reliable? Use WaybackMachine.com to discover what the site looked like in the past. Do you trust what you find? Google the author's name. Is the author's viewpoint radical or controversial? Does he or she present a point of view that supports your topic? Finally, ask, does it all add up? Am I satisfied that the website will provide unbiased, timely, and reliable information that I can trust? We should be aware of the purpose of the site. 
Is it to inform, to give facts and data, or is its purpose to explain, persuade, sell or entice, share or disclose? Think about the tone of the site. Is it humorous, argumentative, outrageous, or inappropriate? It is easy to be fooled if we're not careful and reflective inquirers. In conducting research, it is up to us to evaluate our sources for validity, authorship, timeliness, and integrity. The web is a place for free thinking, but for serious research, we must cultivate the habit of healthy skepticism, of questioning everything we find with critical thinking and reflection. So, novice researchers, go forth, inquire, think critically, reflect, and gain knowledge for the 21st century.